So we're here on the Long Island Real Estate Podcast with Paul Doherty. How are you doing, Paul? Very good, Bruce. So what is this house? What's the address? It's 2 Gary Lane. It's in the uh, Sunset City section of North Babylon. A great area. Um, I guess you've seen the area a little bit, so you know. It's a real good family neighborhood. It's right across the street from the Belmont Lake State Park. The schools are close. The parkways are close. Shopping. So it's just a great place to uh, raise a family. That's excellent. I mean, I know this area is fantastic. Route 231, Deer Park Avenue. It has so much shopping. You've got Bayshore. You've got the, the mall like, right close by, about 10 minutes away off the Sunrise Highway. And this park, the Belmont State Park, is beautiful. It's fantastic, you know, and you're close to, you know, you're close to the water, being close to Bayshore and Babylon uh, waterfronts, not too far from the beaches. So you kind of got the best what Long Island has to offer. So tell me a little bit about two Gary Lake in North Babylon. I think it's the best starter house in this area. It's listed for 325. It's move-in ready. It has four bedrooms. Uh, there's three down and one upstairs, but also on the upstairs, uh, like a lot of Cape Style homes, there's a, there's a large uh, section of the upstairs that's an unfinished attic, so it's great for tons of storage. So it's got plenty of room, it's got a great backyard, a nice covered porch. Again, it's a nice area. Um, it's pretty much movement ready, so I think a, a family, for uh, what people are paying for rent these days, um, you could own this house and, and build up some equity, which I think is so important these days. That's true, and 325 is a great price. It is. So let's go look at the house. Great, thank you. All right, Paul, we are here at 2 Gary Lane in North Babylon. Paul Doherty from Realty Executives. Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate you guys coming down. Let me show you this great house. Come on. So as you can see as we walk around the house, the home is in very good condition. Uh, so this will be your living room. All the windows have been replaced. That's great. You can see we have um, a nice little, little dining area. Some might call it an uh, eating kitchen or just a separate dining room. I think it's a nice size. Um, this table that you see here is four, but it could easily be expanded to see six or eight. Kitchen is definitely right got the room for it in the yeah, dining rooms. Definitely. Definitely. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a great starter home. That's what it is. That's true. Um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, it's got four bedrooms. So, you know, whether you just start in your family or you have a couple of kids already, this home is perfect for you. Uh, the kitchen, right through this way. The kitchen's in very good shape. Um, you have a gas cooking stove. A lot of people love to cook with gas. I know I do. Most most chefs okay. do like gas. It's just uh, a lot easier and just just a great way to go. Um, dishwasher, refrigerator, all pretty recent. A decent amount of cabinets. Through the kitchen, we come down to the living quarters. Okay. Uh, full bath. It's clean. It's in great condition. That's great, and uh, it's a nice, nice size bathroom, and has very clean showers. So, how many baths um, are? This has one, full, one full bath. Okay. But what a lot, what a lot of Cape houses do is on the upstairs, it's easy enough right up to bring another bathroom upstairs. The pipes are all here, um, <laughs> so you can shoot the pipes right upstairs. And uh, as I mentioned, you could make a, the attic into a fifth bedroom and put a second bath up there. There's also the pipes in the basement. The basement's unfinished, but you could also do it down there, pretty pretty cost effectively. It's uh, in, in, uh I guess the oil tank is down there and everything, so yeah. we'll definitely yeah. take a look at the at the basement shortly. Sure. And so uh, there are three bedrooms down here. Okay. This being one of them. Again, you see uh, a lot of windows. You got two closets, uh, oak floors. Two closets. That's something you'll see in a lot of houses. <laughs> That's great for well, one bedroom. People need closets, you know. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of get you from this end too. <laughs> now it's two closets. 
That's great. And this could be used for a guest room or even the master bedroom or a child's room. Well, this would be, there's, uh, there's two decent sized bedrooms, this being one. Uh, they use the master that's down at the end of the hall. I'll show you that because that's got like a walk-in closet. Oh, excellent. This bedroom here is a smaller bedroom, which would be for a young child, you know, or the baby's room, which you see a lot of houses. So it's got a larger yeah. bedroom to this side. The master's right over here, so if this was the, uh, you know, the baby's room or the, you know, your young child's room, you're right next to them, so. That's great. Come down here. And this is the master bedroom. This is what they use as the master bedroom. You know, it faces the front of the house. Um, it's got two large closets. Um, That's excellent because a lot of homes. walk-in size closets. Um, oh yeah, nice size too. For yeah, definitely walk in two walk-in closets, not just one. <laughs> something so, one of my other clients excellent. who bought in this area. I just kind of walk in here. <laughs> what they did, um, they had the same style home, and what they did is they they closed off one of the entrances to the closet and made it one large walk-in closet. And what that did is that gave them extra uh, wall space here to have. Uh, a dresser because usually some people have in their master bedroom they'll have furniture like this so it gives you just extra wall space to put a dresser and then you can still have access and make it one huge walk-in closet and you probably still have more room that way as well so right, you have more exactly. room you from the the larger walk-in closet but you still have the space for the dressing uh, dresser which is excellent right that's great yeah that's good yeah and that's you know and this definitely it still has even if you don't do that and you keep the two closets. It still has great room for you know for the dresses, as you can see. So yes, I think it's great. So it's a nice size room. And again, the windows have all been updated. Um, it's moving ready. You know, uh, maybe a little paint job would all be someone would need to do. But yeah. you can move in and you can do things over time. So oh, that's excellent. And through the living room. Coat closet, but then we go upstairs and there's one bedroom and I'll show you the attic space uh, that could easily be a fifth bedroom and where a lot of people would put a second uh, bathroom. So come on. Mm -hmm. 